Well, I'm gonna make a, my first how-to video here on how to change an axle shaft in an 86 Ford F-250. Um, it's got that twin I-beam like suspension in the front. So, uh, first thing I've done so far is I've taken my uh, 964 Zoom in. Hex head or Allen head, and I luckily these ones all came loose on my parts truck or whatever the truck I pulled the axle shaft out of. Uh, they did not. Well, all of them but one came off. I had to drill that one out. So this one so far is turning out so far so good. All right, next got the wheel off. I got the bolts out, so this should just. Pop right off real nice. Then uh, there's a snap ring in here we gotta get all out. And then there's a, a little ring on the outside here that you have to get off. Uh, this is where picks come very handy. You kinda can, gotta see, you gotta get the pick like right in there and kinda pop it out and work your way around. Um, then maybe the brakes. To get the brakes off, you gotta. I usually take a caliper, kind of compress it to relieve some of the pressure so it's easier to get on and off. And uh, then right here, these clips here, just take a pair of pliers, squeeze them, and push that way, or you can go work, work, work from the way back and work towards yourself. Okay, once you get that uh, snap ring out and that larger ring, a pick is. Very useful for this, and I kind of got to hurry because the snow's melting off this truck, and my garage isn't a garage, or it was never built as a garage. It's just, uh, used to be a hardware store that someone converted into a garage. For getting this off, I found it's really easy to thread in two of the bolts. Those are actually pretty nice. I'll see small bolts. But uh thread them in there. And then you got a really good way to get the lock out out. And then uh then uh that's the suck. That's the nut you gotta get off. Um you're going to need a socket like this. There, cleaner. And then you just put it on there and then you get a half inch drive and spin it out. These are the clips that hold the brakes on, the brake caliper. They kind of slide in there as so holds it in there it's good to secure that better than what i did because you don't want that to drop and then tug on your rubber line that's put stress on it but i got that nut loose and then it just all it's kind of hard to do it one-handed but I'm filming with my phone so it's a little shaky and stuff sorry about that but all right now that we got the, the hub off here's the spindle and there's the bolts that hold around that's the hub right there it's also nice to have a paper towel on everything so you kind of can see it keep track of everything it's even better if you have like a cooking pan with paper towel on it that's what my buddy does and it works out pretty well for him but uh for these bolts and stuff like that they've probably been on here forever so uh i'm using a mixture of acetone and automatic transmission fluid uh I read it online. I've used this several times now, and it works great. Wonders. I mean, you just... Just a little spit of squirt here. The acetone, I guess, helps with the transmission fluid penetrating into the threads and everything. But uh, it works great. I've... I've 
had nothing but good things to say about it. I've, I've used that mixture to get a ball hitch off of a truck that's been sitting on there for ever. I had a pipe wrench and a eight foot bar on it and I couldn't get the ball hitch loose and I put that on it, came out two days later and it popped off like it was nothing. So a lot better than liquid wrench, wrench and uh, PB blaster and stuff, so. Okay, after getting the eight bolts out, the socket I recently just got, thread on there. And then we're gonna take a slide hammer and work its way out. All right. Look at that. That is so much easier. That is worth every penny. It's got good needles and everything in it. Perfect. That's actually really nice. All right. That is a very useful tool. Then to get the actual shaft out, you should be able to grab it and just pull it, but you see mine's broke. It's broken in it all over the place. But at least that part's good. I'm glad I did I'm glad that part didn't get wrecked on my old K10. That's exactly what happened. Was it the U-joint broke and snapped the ears off of both axle shafts, not just the inside one or the outside one. So that sucked, but what happens when you're going through mud holes, full throttle. So, yeah, yeah, that's, that's some brokage. All right, um, I got the axle shaft back in. Put a little bit of wheel, wheel bearing grease on the end there for the splines. And then uh, I uh, put anti-seize on the ridge that fits inside the the hub here so that way in the future it's easier to fix because it is a 44 front end and Ford or Chev I broke them all so <laughs> this one will probably be broken again well got it all together now I get to test it out I backed out in four low and and I gave it the gas a little bit, and it seems like all four tires spun, so I got in four high, and we'll find out a little bit. It definitely sucked when it didn't work, so awesome.